Hey everybody, uh, welcome to our weekend check-in video for Psych 5 Social Psychology for Saturday, August 6th. This is actually kind of a pre-course weekend check-in video, so you probably weren't expecting to see me so soon before our class officially starts on Monday, but here I am, and I'm going to do these weekend check-in videos uh, every Saturday for you. They're going to be short and sweet and to the point, and just cover anything I think you need to know to help you stay on top of things in the course and be successful. So let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, first up here is that um, I can see that some of you have already been busy on our course page, at least the parts you can get to. So I'm pleased to see that there, that you're, I can see that you're alive and kicking and that you're just engaging with things there. And when you are, arrive at our Canvas course page, you are going to see that Start Here module at the very top there. So just go ahead and begin there. Obviously, that's why it's called Start Here. And work your way down through each item in the module you will see there. As, as described in the module itself that you need to click each item in the order you find them in all the modules on our course page in order to move forward so if you can't get to a particular item in a module the only reason you would not be able to get to it is because you haven't opened up everything above that item you want to get to i do explain this uh, in a welcome video you'll find in the start here module and also in the announcements i posted recently a orientation video as well and in both of those videos there I have screenshots where I walk you through the course page and literally show you how to navigate and where to find things so it's definitely in your best interest and just trust me on this to watch those videos they're each about 10 minutes long and they're very very helpful it'll answer most of your questions because like most things in life it's just easier to show people how to do things and so I do show you how to do it so I uh, do check that out it's there to help you uh, uh, stay at ease and be comfortable navigating our course page so definitely use the resources I provide there for you and trust me you'll be uh, you'll be glad that you uh, did there okay uh, the uh, actual content of our course that is assignments and lectures and things like that none of that is accessible right now until our course opens up officially on Monday it will be in what are called units you'll see there are five units in our course and right now we're going to be getting on Monday we're going to start unit one and you'll see the same deal you have to click each item in the order you find it to move forward there but once you get in there on Monday you'll see how things are laid out there I do show you this stuff in the orientation video that I mentioned there earlier too so that one's dedicated to how to navigate units primarily so definitely make sure you watch that one when you're ready to get into the actual units themselves there so uh, Pretty simple stuff there. Uh, next up, per a recent announcement, we are going to have a live session this coming Monday at 1 p.m. Every Monday at 1 o'clock, we're going to have live Zoom sessions. And per that announcement, though, these are not required, so you do not have to attend. This is an online course that we describe as asynchronous. That means there are no required meeting days and times. But I have to schedule something like this for those who can make it and who want to attend. So it is there every Monday at 1 p.m. You'll always get an announcement with the uh, zoom link there but you can always click the zoom uh, item in the canvas course menu and see where the upcoming meetings are there too the, the link will always be there too just in case you're not familiar with uh, uh, using zoom on a canvas uh, course page there but in this first session there it is going to be a bit longer than they will be in the future it's roughly going to be about an hour and what I'm going to do is take some time to walk through the syllabus with you I'll have it on screen going to give you a tour of the canvas course page I'll have that on screen it's going to show you some things and tell you some things so kind of a show and tell session there with the canvas course page and of course I'll answer any questions anyone may have who happens to be there but again you do not need to be there and these live sessions are always going to be recorded and posted through zoom so you'll always be able to watch them later if that's what you prefer to do because you want to check them out later or because you can't make it because of your work schedule whatever it may be I try to make it as available as possible for anyone who uh, wants to uh, do that there. Uh, next up here is that in the Start Here module at the very bottom, you will see what's called a survey. And I need you to fill that out. It's five questions. It will literally take you less than a minute, but you do need to submit it no later than Wednesday, August 10th of this coming week there, because this is how I know that you're officially alive and kicking and intend to participate in the course, as I described in the survey uh, set up there for you. So definitely do it. Again, it takes you less than a minute literally to do it there, and uh, that way I'll know that you're going to be participating, and a lot of you have already done it. I've been making notes of that, so if you haven't done it already, Please get in there and do that, and uh, that would be great. 
Next up here, you probably know if you've been looking around on our course page that in addition to your regular like quizzes and exams and things like that, you're also going to have to participate in what's called an online learning platform that is called Inquisitive. That's just the name of it from our textbook publisher. The publisher's name is Norton and uh, they just call their product inquisitive. It's actually pretty simple and what it is is a series of questions that are tied directly to your chapter content on a per chapter basis and you answer these questions and that will help you actually earn points in the course because these are for credit these assignments there each chapter has one inquisitive assignment and by the way when you get in there to do the inquisitive stuff you'll see a dedicated inquisitive module on our course page so take some time to look at that I explain all the details there for you tell you how to register for it and do be careful when you register for inquisitive that you only do it from our canvas course page so only use the links from canvas to set yourself up on inquisitive if you do it outside of canvas what will happen is that your scores will not transfer to the gradebook on canvas so be careful as I say repeatedly in the instructions only register for inquisitive on uh, the canvas course page and you can't go wrong if uh, that's what you uh, do there so please uh, be careful about that okay uh, next up here is that um, for the uh, due dates for all of our assignments there you will find them in a number of places I literally show you this in the welcome video and in that orientation video that I mentioned or indicated earlier there so do again watch those for example you'll see next to any assignment in our course units for example the chapter one quiz you'll see a due date right next to it when you sign into your canvas dashboard you'll see your quote to do list it'll have assignments and their due dates there but if you're kind of a one-stop shopper kind of person if you click on the syllabus link in the canvas main menu or if you click on the calendar link in the canvas main menu not the course menu but the, the main menu for canvas there you'll see a calendar link there uh, it'll show you all the assignments all in one place all the due dates all the due times again I literally show you this in the welcome video and the orientation video so you might want to watch those because it's easier to just see it versus me just describing it verbally here but it'll make your life easier so really there's multiple places at least four where you can always find assignments and their due dates so there's really no excuse for saying I didn't know that was due because I make it pretty easy for you to find them it's just your you have a pre you can use your preference in terms of how you want to uh, manage all that so uh, do be careful and again your assignments in unit one will not open up until Monday but you can at least for now if you want look at when all that stuff is going to be uh, due there so uh, do uh, uh, check that out there now that's uh, as this is an online course, it's certainly on you to be responsible and stay on top of the assignments and the due dates and the due times for those things. Again, I've made that very clear and easy for you to find. So again, watching those videos I prepared for you will make your life easier. So again, you'll be glad you did check those out. I know I'm being redundant but I'm just trying to emphasize are you sensing the theme here I want you to watch those videos because it will really help you out and, and I work hard to make everything easy for you folks and I've had a lot of feedback in the two years plus now that I've been teaching online that a lot of students say gosh I wish my other instructors were as organized and had it together like you do because your course is a breeze compared to the other courses they take online so I'm kind of a ducks in a row kind of guy so uh, I like to have things easy for my students I design my course page with you in mind as a student so it would make it easy for you to navigate it and find things and so uh, please take use the tools I provide for you and again you'll be happy uh, that you did okay now that's pretty much everything I wanted to uh, say for uh, right now if you're able to make our live session this coming Monday at 1 o'clock great I'll see you there Otherwise, I will see you in those uh, lecture videos. I will see you next Saturday in the next weekend check-in video. And uh, if you need anything in the meantime, uh, please reach out via email on Canvas, and I'll be glad to get back to you and address your concern. I do check my email frequently because in an online course, that's just kind of what you have to do. Otherwise, you have an inbox overflowing with emails every day. And uh, I don't know about you, but I hate a stuffed inbox, so I, st I pretty much get to them right away, so I don't have that problem. Otherwise, um, that's all for now. And sorry for the redundancies, but I'm just trying to make sure I don't forget anything I want to tell you. And I will um, be seeing you soon. All right, take care until then. Bye-bye.